Um, as, as I'm listening, you know, to everyone speak, uh, you know, some thoughts are popping into my head, right? And one of the things is that not because someone say something, it doesn't mean it's true, right? So, you know, if someone told you that, hey, you know what? Um, I know you told me that California exists, but the truth is, doesn't exist. Nope, it's a lie, okay? Have you ever been there? No. So you've never seen it? No, I've never seen it. Okay, well, it's a lie. It doesn't exist, right? But yet we know, we know that California does exist. We have founders who actually live there in California. So not because you haven't gone to California, you've never seen California for yourself, you know, with your own eyes in person, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, right? So that, that's one thing. Then we know that there's been, you know, great opportunities that very few people have been fortunate enough to jump in at the very beginning. You know, even before it materialized to the world, okay? very few people and some of the companies, you know, were named um, earlier. So whether that's Microsoft or Apple or Facebook, any of these companies, you know, go back to the beginning of those companies and see how many people actually were able to get in, right, before it even came to the marketplace and how many people actually benefit going forward from those companies, Take a look at those companies and see the ups and downs that they went through, even when they came to the marketplace, right? You know, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, Steve Jobs, he was kicked out of Apple, right? Can you imagine if he never went back to Apple? Can you imagine what Apple would look like today? I don't even think there would be an Apple today, to be honest with you, right? Because years after he was kicked out, Okay, and then he came back into the company. He was the one that revamped the entire process. Okay, everything within Apple. And then soon after, we started to have, you know, the iPod, iPhone, iPad. You understand? And we know what type of juggernaut that company is today. People have to wake up. If you made a decision to get involved in on passive, there was a reason why you did. Okay, there was a reason why you got in. Okay, something told you, whether it be someone, whether it be an inner voice, whatever, at some point you decided to make a decision that yes, I want to be a part of this. And not because it's not happening in your time frame, not because you jumped in because you know I, I got mortgage to pay, I got some bills to pay, I need some money right now. So let me jump into this thing called on passive. And then 30 days later, it didn't launch, you're not making money. That doesn't mean, okay, because that's your timing. It doesn't mean that time has expired. It doesn't mean that we have missed the mark. It doesn't mean that we have failed. It doesn't mean that we are fake. It doesn't mean any of those things. Folks, in life, I've learned that it's so much easier to have a positive mindset than to have a negative one. It is so much easier to be an optimist than to be a pessimist. It is so much easier to smile than it is to frown. Folks, understand, and I'm specifically speaking to all of you founders in South Africa. You are looking for a life change. You are looking for a way out. You are looking for help. And when help presents itself and you decided to hold on to that, don't let go. Do yourself a favor, because you know what? It doesn't matter to me from a financial standpoint. It's not gonna hurt me financially if you let go. It's not going to hurt the person who invited you in if you decide to let go. It's not going to hurt the company, the CEO, the leaders, etc. if you decide to let go. The staff, it's not going to hurt them if you decide to let go. Who is it going to hurt? It's going to hurt you and your family, okay? You and your family, that's who it's going to hurt. So do yourself a favor, understand what it is that you're involved in. Understand that it, to build a real business of this magnitude does take time. Take time. You don't get to the well 
and ready to drink the water, then you walk away because, mm, I don't know, mm, something tells me that maybe I shouldn't drink it. You're dying of thirst and you get to the well and the water is there to quench your thirst and then you refuse to drink from that well because somebody who has no sense Someone who has no real experience in this arena, that person is telling you nonsense and you're like, mm, maybe I shouldn't drink. So let me just turn around and go look for another well. And by the time you try to get to another well, guess what happens? You die of thirst. You understand? You die of thirst. This right here, folks, this business called on passive is exactly what you've been looking for all your life, all your life, not just 10 months ago, not just four months ago, not just 10 years ago, all your life. You've been looking for a way out all your life, okay? And here it comes, finally, finally, here comes a business that is going to set up everything for you. They're going to do all the heavy lifting for you. It was mentioned earlier, right, that, okay, you don't like to recruit, you can't recruit. You can't refer other people. You can't sell. You can't do all these things. You can't set up a website. You don't know how to create content, right? You don't know where to go, find traffic, buy traffic, send visitor. You don't know how to do any of those things. You don't even have a list. You don't have a contact list. Oh, no, I don't contact my friends and family about stuff like that. Guess what? All of that is not even necessary. Why? Because the company got you covered. They're going to even get you that targeted traffic. In other words, they're going to even get you a list. Okay? They're going to get you a list of people that they can send over to your site. Understand this. Right? To piggyback on what was said about Ash Mafar, knowing that if on passive was to fail, he's the one going to get, get the blame. Guess what? He knows that. And even though he knows that, Guess what? He decided to build on passive in a way that he doesn't get the praise. You do. Every single one of you, every single one of us, we get the praise because he sets it up so that that unique domain name, that website that you will have is yours. It's promoting you. It's branding you, not on passive. Think about that. So wait a minute now, if this thing fails, I get all the blame. But if it succeeds, you get all the praise? Like you become the hero? Like really? That's exactly what Ash Mafar is doing. Think about that, folks. Who does that? Right? All these guys are running out looking for fame and fortune. I didn't join on passive to be famous. I didn't join on passive for everybody to know my name. None of that stuff. Right? We don't come on webinars because we want to show our face and, hey, look at me, hey. Not at all. It's because people actually care about others. We care about our fellow human being. We want to see you succeed because our success is not tied to you. Our success is not tied to whether you come in or not. Our success is tied to the company selling products to people in the public arena, customers not tied to you. So if we drop and get rid of every single founder who wants to cry and whine and complain and all of that stuff, guess what? Unpassive is still going to succeed. And this is what our CEO is talking about, about, you know, making a decision, choosing, am I on this side or am I on that side? Am I on the side of being an optimist, being positive, being patient, or do I want to be on the side of complainers and whiners? naysayers, all of that stuff. It's a choice in life. I've always tried to do the best thing, the right thing for myself, my family, and everyone that's around me. Everyone I come into contact with, I've always tried my best to help people. And that's what you're finding with a lot of leaders. It's in them. It's a conscious decision that they've made to do what they're doing in on passive. We're not getting paid. Okay, we're not getting paid. We're just like you. We're not getting paid. We just decide to step up and go a little bit above and beyond to help our fellow 
human being. So folks, all of South Africa, all of our passive, take courage and understand what it is that you have in the palm of your hands. Do not miss the mark. Don't let somebody else take away your joy. Don't let someone else take away your success because they can't deal with success. Folks, on Passive is a real company. It has real products. It's going to sell to the public. And we who are founders are going to benefit from it. It's as simple as that. And the world, meaning people that's outside of home passive, they will come in and become customers. Why? Because there are people right now that are purchasing domain names. There are people right now that are purchasing uh, tools, okay, tools to use to shorten their URL. There are people right now, okay, that are using this platform we're on called Zoom. People are using any meeting. People are using Skype. Okay, so what does that say? It says that there's a demand for what on passive is putting together. There's a demand for it, folks. So if you have products and there's a demand for your products, you are going to win. If you walk into a market in South Africa and you're selling, I don't know, oranges, bananas, you're selling fruits and vegetables, let's say, okay, just want to keep it basic, right? If everybody in the market is not looking for your fruits and vegetables, does it matter if there's a billion people sitting there? They're not looking for what you have. But if you go into the market with fruits and vegetables and everyone that comes is looking for fruits and vegetables, will they buy from you? There's no guarantee that they'll buy from you because they may see somebody else selling the same thing you're selling and it's cheaper, so they go over there. But guess what? The fact that you're buying, you're selling, you're offering what they're looking for, now that increases the chance of them buying from you. And as soon as they buy that orange or banana from you, guess what happens? You make money, right? Money that you can put into your pocket. That's how Unpassive works. Except we're talking about something that's on the internet. The company sets it up for you. They send all the traffic to the site for you. When customers go in and decide to buy, you make money. It is that simple. So everyone should be able to understand what Unpassive is about. Keep it simple, folks. Don't get too technical with it. Don't worry about data center and government agreements and all this fancy stuff. All we need to know is that we can trust the CEO. We can trust the process. We can trust the company. We can trust the person who invited you in because we're all going to win.